Okay, so I want to keep myself accountable and the best way to keep myself accountable I feel is like either taking pictures, recording videos, whatever it is. I feel like that helps me a lot keeping myself accountable. So I don't cut bulk or any of that stuff. I just try to live a balanced, healthy lifestyle as much as I can. I used to suffer from binge eating a lot, maybe for about a couple years. It was really bad. Um, straight out of high school. I think my sister had just been born. I was like 18 and my binging was out of control and I tried to track macros for about a year I did and it did help me a lot. Um, I feel like I learned how to like portion out my foods and just it became kind of unhealthy though because I kept seeing food as numbers and I wasn't really down with that. So I stopped tracking macros last November, so it's been a year since I stopped tracking macros. Taught me a lot, but I, it wasn't for me. I felt very restricted. Since then, I have just been intuitively eating. So this means I eat when I'm hungry, I fuel my body when it needs fuel, and it's been working for me. I feel a lot better. I feel like my results have been better. I've made a lot of progress, so that's what I've been sticking to. However, it's my boyfriend's birthday in 11 days. Yeah, 11 days, and then it's our three-year anniversary in 10 days. So, my our anniversary is Saturday, not this Saturday, but next, and then his birthday is the day after. So, I want to like kind of tighten up a little bit. I know I only have like 10 days or whatever, but I can still tighten up my diet and as soon as my car is fixed, which I'm hoping it's fixed today, um, I'm gonna start going to the gym again and just giving it my all. So I wanna track my little progress, how it goes the next 10, 11 days. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at right now and hopefully I make some progress. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I've like, a, I went a little bit up in body fat. I can like just see it, I can feel it. Um, my arms I feel like haven't really gained weight, but just my midsection I feel like I went up a little bit, but <clears throat> it's all good. I don't have a scale or anything at my place, so I don't know how much weight exactly I've gained or maybe I've even lost weight because I, I feel like I've lost some muscle too, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm at really physically right now and I don't really care. I'm not one that's crazy about the scale, but... It'd be nice to kind of see where where I am and like you know, after this little cleanup of my diet, um, where I'll be. But whatever, um, I'm just going to take progress pictures and keep you guys updated through videos. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I get to like tighten up my body just because I want to like wear a pretty dress and all that stuff. I'm still going to include a workout in the next clip. I'm gonna include a upper body workout just cause I know the girls love the upper body workouts because a lot of you guys struggle with the same problems I have with just holding and storing that fat in your upper body. So I'm just showing you guys what I've done and what has helped me shed some fat in that area. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So whenever I do upper body like back and biceps, I like to warm up with the most draining exercises. So pull ups for me are the hardest and most challenging and here I'm doing the assisted pull-ups and I'm doing as many reps as possible for each set. Really focus on the eccentric movement of the pull-up, just going down really slowly and just focus on all the muscles you're working. So here I am doing the overhead rope pull-down. These are amazing for your lats. If you're gonna do any behind the head movements, I prefer you do it with a rope. It's just a lot more natural for your body rather than using like a straight bar like this. Instead, use that bar for like a wide grip pull down or the seated row. So I'm using a wide grip and this targets your rear delts as well as your back. This is one of my favorite movements for biceps. This is a bicep curl drop set. So I'm beginning with the heaviest weight I can curl and I'm doing low reps. And then I start to decrease the weight and I start to increase my reps. So I'll start off with like 5 reps of heavy weight and then I'll decrease that weight going to like 8 to 10 reps and I just go on for a total of 4 sets. By your last set, your arms are going to feel like noodles and you should be at a higher rep count like 12 to 15 reps and you'll be curling like super lightweight but it will burn. 
Moving on to the dumbbells free weight section. Here I am doing a superset. We are beginning with alternating bicep curls, so doing one arm at a time, 10 to 12 reps each depending on the weight you use. I'm using a little heavier weight, so just kept it at a lower rep count. And then I'm going to superset it by curling both arms at the same time. Another one of my favorite back workouts is the back fly. So this is a seated back fly. You can do this standing as well, just bent over slightly. Here I'm holding really light pair of dumbbells and I'm just focusing on targeting those rear delts and my lat muscles. Now we're targeting a little bit of shoulders. So here we are doing a lateral to front raise. So you're gonna come up to lateral, go into a front and then raise it up and then just reverse the motions back down. 